Hey everybody, it's Cliff in 4 ccb In this video, I'm going to transmit at 100 watts, then 25 watts, 10 watts, 5 watts, and 1 watt. And I want you to hear the difference in what it sounds like to start cutting your power. You're going to be surprised that there's very little difference in the sound when you're transmitting and then cut it down and cut it down and cut it down again. Of course, by the time you're down to 1 watt, it sounds weaker than 100 watts. No question about it. But if your signal is above the noise floor of the receiving station, they're going to hear you. Now, how did I do this? Well, I did this by uh, using WebSDR. If you're not familiar with that, WebSDR.org is the URL. And there are many radios around the world that are exposed on the internet. So you can go to WebSDR.org and then pick a receiver. The one I picked was about 250 miles away from here in Dahlonega, Georgia. And I recorded the screen and the audio uh, from that station. And here in Franklin, Tennessee, a suburb of Nashville, I transmitted testing day in 4 CCB. And I did that at five different power levels. And I, I recorded the screen here so that you could see me taking the mouse and dragging the power slider as I reduced my power. Now, when I go from 100 watts to 25 watts, I fumble around. It takes me probably 10 seconds to, to get it right. I'm not going to edit that, so just bear with me. I want you to see this is accurate apples to apples, uh, no trickery, no weirdness. You're going to hear that there's not a lot of difference between 100 watts and 25 watts, or 25 watts and 10 watts, or 25 watts and 5 watts, or 100 watts and 5 watts. Now, of course, by the time you get down to 1 watt, you know, it's definitely weaker, and you'll, you'll hear that. But let's run this, and I'll give you some narration as we go. Let's do it. All right, first thing I want you to see is this is a WebSDR.org uh, URL here. Uh, the station is in Dahlonega, about 250 miles away from me. I'm going to adjust my power slider to make sure it's at 100 watts before I start this. So now at 100 watts... Okay, there you go, 100 watts. That's what it looked like and sounded like in Georgia from there. Now, let's move that power slider down to 25 watts. Bear with me. And after I get it to 25 watts, let's transmit again. Are you surprised at how much that sounded like 100 watts? All right, let's cut it down to 10 watts. All right, five watts. And finally, one watt. Okay, very interesting, right? If you're not familiar with QRP and, and how this works, you might be pretty surprised at how there wasn't much difference between 25 watts and 100 watts, or 10 watts and 25 watts, or for that matter, five watts and 100 watts. Um, now, one thing to bear in mind is your signal does need to be above the noise floor of the receiving station. That station in the Dahlonega had about, a, I guess it was maybe an S3 noise floor. Uh, which is lower than mine here in this big neighborhood I live in. But uh, anyway, it's just interesting, and I want you to be aware of that, that uh, you, you don't have a linear relationship between the perceived loudness of the signal and the wattage. In other words, one watt doesn't sound 100 times weaker than 100 watts, right? It just doesn't. So uh, bear that in mind and go give this a try. You can do it yourself, you know. Just go to WebSDR, pick a station, go transmit, you know, ask if the frequency is in use. And then just say, this is uh, N4CCB, or well, hopefully not my call sign, your call sign. Uh, just testing my audio. Do that as many times as you want at different power levels. And when you're done, you know, give your call sign and tell them that you're, you're leaving the air, you know, QRT. So uh, that's it for this one. As always, leave me some comments if you want to, and I'll see you later.